so hey guys today i'm going to show you the sec uh, second part of how to get started with uh, maya so now i'm going to open the uh, f uh physics folder that i just made and in the last video I, we made this project folder and now i'm going to go to scenes that i just told you i'll open this uh safe scene that i just sa saved it with you guys so today we're going to get more uh, no, we're going to know uh, more tools of the maya and we're going to know how to like uh, get a little bit into more into maya so we had made this scene we just cross these we have made this scene we select this with this and go press w and now i'm going to show you how to use a little bit of tools and all that you first this is the selection tool you select this with this this is the selecting tool nothing moves nothing does anything like i have some some things and i have this so with this selection tool you can only select you cannot move okay i'm not gonna like uh, open it because i just rendered it right now the last video so now i'm gonna use this for selecting like i have this stuff i can select this i can select this i cannot move it right with this tool sorry i'll go to this tool this is the move tool as i told you in the last video and now i'm going to show you how to like move it like it's up down i told you in the last video and now i'm going to use the center box this is the center box you can move it from here here you can move it in any direction from the center box and if you place it over there if you leave yeah the mouse yeah yeah if you want to move it from the center from everywhere you press the left mouse button keep like pressing it don't press it like 1 2 3 4 5 just continuously pressing it and move it from here here move your mouse so the uh, object will move it move on your own with the mouse so if you leave it if you leave the mouse button it will it will leave it and if you leave this it will leave that and with this you can rotate it as i told you in the last video you can rotate it like this like this like this so over here you can see there are there is a little bit of gray lines y you can see this i'll show you in the darkness the dark side these are some gray lines coming three dots like a triangle something can you see that i cannot point it right now i'll move uh, i'll put something so over here where my mouse is right now it has having one point of the uh, triangle and there is one point over here over on the start over here when my and when you drag it over here it makes like a triangle and if you m keep it till half like a 90 degree one it will show you 90 degrees if you leave it it the triangle will go and if you go over here it will show you like if you are going more then uh you need is over here this is a triangle it shows you how much you have gone how much you have rotated from the starting point this is the starting point if i rotate this much it will tell me i have rotated this much and it will shade that much and if you go to scale tool it uh, i told you in the last video there are three dots this i did not tell you this the center dot is for like scaling it from the center it does not like move it less and move it this it will not rescale it it will not like resize this so uh, i'll select this one thing and then I'll, I'll take the center tool i'll scale it up scale it down no size will not matter like uh, this trans uh this thing scale if you see it will this will increase this thing scale option it will increase if i increase it it will decrease if i decrease it this is all equal see 0 0.58 0 0.58 0 0.58 
these are all equal and if you scale from the center they will all go up together fine if I take a new sphere and I take it this take it like this and I don't yeah and it will make it equally it will not make it like different this is one 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 and if I take it from the center it will increase all are same right now because I'm doing from the center if I do this the length will increase the center is the length and this is the left and right side the extreme right one and the first one is the front and back so it's like that so over here you just get like this I'll just delete all the unnecess unnecessary things if I go into lighting you have some options over here some wha what what you need and so I told you some like if you press 4, 5, 6, 7 it, this is the normal modes that you get and I'll just make this in the center wait a minute and I'll press F for focusing and I'll go on this sorry my mistake by mistake press S if you press S the key will be aligned over here somewhat right so I'll tell you later on the beginners don't need to learn this key thing because the beginners you first concentrate over here so you have to go into rotate 0 if you want it to be in the center fine 0 and 0 it will be like straight it will like be in the center it will not be in the center obviously but the rotation will be 0 and let's translate you just put 0 0 over here oh sorry by mistake 0 over here and 0 over here so it will come in the center of the grid and it will be in the center and if you like move it the translate will be moving like I'll move it over here this translate uh, the, the value of translate will be mo uh, changing if you want to like change the name of the uh, object you just press like one the object name will be changed uh, spare one it will come like this and uh, obviously you have some options over here wireframe mode I told you it will come with four and smooth shaded mode it will come with five and light and lighting would come with seven. This is not lighting, sorry. This is uh, F and mode and shaded mode. Both wires frame and shaded wires would come like the if you press four, the wire only the wire would come. And if you press five, the shaded mode only the shaded mode would come. And if you press this again, the wire will go. And if you deselect like this the wire will go and if you press this again the wire will come and if you press this the wire will be there but the wire would be like wires uh, wire would be like like they would be lit with the green light you just see over here so it will be the green light would uh, 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 dimmick like the selection that you select just selected uh, the basic things that you need to know is the like, extrude and all that this is the extrude button you can also go to error mesh uh, and then you go to insert edge loop or you can straight away bevel there are two options bevel you can bevel the thing or merge if you want to merge two things and if you want to uh, extrude is over here like you press uh, I'm just deleting this sphere we have a cube I'll make a cube Fine. this is a normal cube okay I'll go to now I'll tell you wha uh, what are the uh, like modes you press right click key like keep pressing it on the uh, on the object you have many modes you have edge mode vertex mode face mode ed edge mode vertex mode face mode and object mode right now we are in object mode so I'll go to face mode you can select this face this face this face like any s uh, face of the thing so I'll select this one now see the magic of extrude 
you go to you just click on extrude this one uh, and you have many many things you just press W the face will get selected and move it over here this is like mm, the thing you just press extrude again you have thickness how, mul how much thickness you want if I want 20 it will the length will increase if you want the same length then the thickness will increase if you want 2 it will become this offset if you want 2 it will like the si the edges will come together if I want 1 it will be like this and if I want divisions like 5 the edges will be this these edges will add and if I want like 10 the 10 edges will add if I want like these are edges and divisions like I'll just show you I'll select this face sorry I'll just make it this like or, or like a square and now I'll go to edge mode press right click and edge mode left click and if I select this this these are the edges right so now I'll go to face mode I'll select now I'll go to object mode I'll select this object go to edit mesh um, insert edge loop tool there uh, insert edge loop tool and there's one more offset edge loop tool in the insert edge loop tool, tool you have many options you go to insert edge loop tool click this um, square box which is there just click it with the left click you drag the edge over here and you can add it in the center anywhere you want or you you can like go this and you can click over there on the edge loop tool insert edge loop tool on the right box you can reset the tool like to the default and if you want it to uh, uh, re elevate distance from the edge this this option is for like you can move it anywhere and if you were uh, if you press equal distance from the edge if you click over here it, I'll just show you one minute equal distance from the edge so it will be in the center of all edges and if you press multi edge in if I go to one if I do this if I drag it here 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 nothing will happen it will be in the center so if I do five three three edges will uh, happen in the center one will be in the center two will be like the edges added over here uh, one edge is over here and in between this and this in the center of this and this like this thing let me alt center uh, this th this thing this edge this whole edge and this edge fine sorry my mistake I'll use a move tool this thing and this thing first classes this thing this edge and this edge it will be in the center of this and this edge and this edge will be this, this will be in the center of this and this edge and this edge and if you like want to uh, select the whole thing like this this if you if you don't want to take the uh, work of like selecting control and select all of them shift sorry you're gonna select shift and all of them you're gonna select that's you don't, you don't want to take that just double click the whole circle will be selected and if I double click here this whole line will get selected and if I double click like here this whole circle I'll just show you this thing this thing this thing this thing every the only circle will get selected and if I focus this thing will focus fine and now I'll show you what happens with bevel you go to this go to error mesh now go to bevel it will bevel this you do not take the option right you just go this and go bevel like this and now you go to error mesh you first have to select this I'll select this go to error mesh for sorry I'll select this error mesh bevel sorry my mistake my mistake I did wrong sorry I go to bevel go to option box and you have many options over here you have uh, you want how much width you want if I want like one and segments like 10 or what somewhat you have something like that and if you want if you want to apply it over here you'll just see what happens and if you want this and you select that and you want like well, sorry I'll select this and if you want many segments like three 
over there, over here. We just bevel it, the option box will go and this will get beveled. So this is something like that. And if you there is one more option over there that I'll tell you which is merge I'll tell you in the next uh, next episode I'll tell you what what will we do in the next episode we'll do merge uh, and we'll do merge vertex tool merge else tool we'll do these two we'll do this and we'll do mesh we'll do combine we'll do extrude we, we'll do extrude we'll do booleans in booleans we'll do onion dif difference and and inter selection whatever is that i know wh what it works in and we'll also um may be making a, a new project very soon so now i'll tell you what happens with f8 f7 sorry if you press f8 it will be in the object mode and if you press back f f8 it will get into the edge mode that you the last mode that you were in so thank you for watching.